How's it going ladies and Bruce? I'm Bobby Sixkiller and welcome back to Subnautica. Now we're having fun, we had a, a pretty eventful first episode. We got the high capacity O2 tank, the flippers, the rebreather and a knife. We still need to go make the scanner so we need a battery. So in this episode, this shouldn't take long but for now, our mission is to go and hunt down some acid mushrooms. Which I see right there. So that was quick. So we can make some batteries. We've already got the copper we need. Alright, let's head back. Can I eat you? I'm gonna eat you. Yes, I can eat you. I'm gonna eat you. Later. Still need to make a repair tool and I still can't find cave sulfur. I don't know what to do about that. Our cured food, I assume, lasts longer. It won't go off as quickly. I assume stuff goes off. Uh, tools. Need a battery, that's right. So, make a battery. Now we should be able to make a scanner. New blueprint. What's that for? Is that in here? I wonder what the computer chip's for. Alright, we're gonna make the scanner because I saw a bunch of, uh, Fragments down the bottom, and I assume the scan is what we need for that. To synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Cool, it sounds useful. Right, let's head back to wherever those dealies were. Self scan. Took like a scan selfie. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. They were down here. There's a bunch down here. There's one right there. We scan that. Alright, so that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to go scan stuff. Vehicle bay fragment. Oh, I know there was a heap down here. I just don't remember where they all were. There was that building as well, they had some inside it. Oh, that big cave, now that we've got the rebreather, we might be able to get in there. Wanna scan you? I wanna scan you without getting killed by you. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with you, eh? Feel like you're gonna murder me. Well, I know I saw a bunch of fragments, but now I can't find any. Now that I've got the actual scanner that I can use on them, we we'll go to the surface and see if we can find where that building was. That is actually lasting a lot longer. Like a whole lot longer. There you go, there's some fragments down there. And then we'll try and get into that cave as well if we can. I feel like we can stay under for quite a while now. Can I scan you? No? You're not a, you're not a something. You're a nothing. Fine, be a nothing then. See if I care, you fuck. And you, you're a nothing too. Lies. Subterfuge. A lot of these uh, sand monsters around here, though. Like a buttload. There's the cave hole. Alright, we need to get to the top. Get all our oxygen up, and then we'll hit down there, because it's real deep. But I feel like we might be able to get the cave sulfur down there. That's the closest thing we found to an actual legit cave, and the lady even mentioned it. The lady in my head mentioned it. That must be important.
I don't know how long we'll last down here, but we'll do our best and try not to die. Dying's not something I'm planning to do today. This is super deep though. Not thrilled with how deep this is. What the fuck is that? What is this? Gold. Requires special equipment to collect. Okay, what is this thing? Scan, quickly! Before we suffocate! The conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. New blueprint acquired. Okay, they hurt me, whatever they are. Integrating new PDA data. I don't want to die. I really don't want to die right now. Oh, we did. We are so dead. We are so dead. Yeah, there's not even any point trying to escape. We are fucked. Unless there's anything we can eat that'll help. No, we're dead. We're dead. At least we got some data, I guess. What we didn't get, though, was cave sulfur. At all. Keep thinking, oh yeah, I can survive underwater ages now. Pfft, not even. Data bank. Blueprints. Data downloads. Oh. Ooh, interesting. God damn. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Data cell. Ah, uh, power cell. That's new. Yeah, we're having a food issue again. I think we might still have some food in here, maybe? Oh, we've got this peeper. We need that. That's all we've got. The fish inside my house. Can't scan you. Creepvine C classes can't scan you either. Alright, we need to go find some more shit. Let's just scan these. Let's scan some of the random wildlife around. Can I scoop you? Can I scan you? Tell me so I can scan you. Stalker. New creature discovered. I took you, hoverfish. You're mine now. I should just be picking them up so I can eat their asses, but... I just want to scan things. Now that we have the scanner, it's exciting we go around scanning things. Jeez, can we scan fucking everything? That's mad. Coral tubes? Bladderfish. You're the ones that are for food, uh, for water. I'll have you. Ooh, are they... 
Congratulations, Survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. I'm kind of over it now, though. Your routine for uniform muscle development. Swimming wouldn't be your favorite thing to do after this, now would it? You're like, man, I like swimming. You know what? After after this uh, after this whole ordeal, I'm not really into swimming anymore. <laughs> kind of don't like it anymore that much. All right, what else we got down here? Crash can? Sure, why not? Your blueprint, nice. Grave trap. I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. Anything else? There must be more things we can find around. Oh, I can't remember where that building was. I know whatever uh, blueprints are in that are going to be super important. Ow! Is that you? Did you bite me, asshole? I don't want to get close enough to you. You seem a lot more dangerous than the ones that actually look a lot more dangerous. The uh, stalkers. They look more dangerous, but they don't seem as dangerous as you guys. You guys are super hostile. You can pop out of the ground like a sandworm. Yikes. Reginald? Can I eat you? New creature discovered. Is that you that- Oh, you're shooting things! Fucking jerk. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, alright. We better get up there. I'm enjoying all the scanning though. This is a good time. This is a good time. Then we can listen to some of those uh, audio logs. Learn a bit about the world we're in. What I'm excited about. Well, I love world building. And lore and stuff. I'm all about that. And they've crafted such a beautiful world. Such a unique world. Now where on earth is this building? We'll just keep swimming about, eventually we'll find something. And I wish I had a telescope. Look at this cave here. Maybe that'll have cave sulfur in it. Ooh, it's pretty. What's this? Creature egg. It's like quartz. Oops. Still not used to the buttons. I feel like left click should be fire the whatever it is I'm holding, but it's not. What is this? Rouge Cradle. Can I get cave sulfur here somewhere? Tell me I can. Before I suffocate and die again. I do a lot of that. Lead. Silver. Alright, we're running low on oxygen again. We need to get out of here. Or we will most assuredly die. Alright, let's go. Quickly! Oh, it looks like it's near the surface. We might actually survive this. No, probably not. We're dead. We are super dead. We're still 80 meters away.
Beauty. Fifteen. Holy crap, we survived. Well, that was unexpected. We fully ran out of air, but we still survived. Thanks, game, for giving us a chance. There's that cave there. I want to see if this is a fragment of something. Totally is. Laser cutter. Ow. Whoops. Well, this is a cave. Where's the cave sulfur? There's no way this is anything that isn't a cave. Gold again, god damn it. Like if that was real life, I'd be like, yeah, I struck it rich, but here, gold's not fucking useful. Well, at least not right now, maybe later. Maybe it's super useful later, I don't know. But that's not what I need now, I need cave sulfur. Maybe it's one of these critters that has cave sulfur in it, I don't know. We're running out of air already again though. There's a problem. Am I looking in the wrong place? These things don't have sulfur in them, do they? Our inventory must be getting pretty full at this point. There's a lot of gold down here though, like a boatload of gold. Gold was something I needed, I'd be uh, on my way. Seconds. But I'm not finding anything of what I need right now. I'm not even finding the fucking fragments that I was finding earlier. Oxygen. Yeah, I see that. Thanks for the fucking update. Gonna do one more sweep of this uh, cavey area. Maybe we'll just look around this circular bit. See if maybe we can find some fucking sulfur somewhere. And if not, I guess we'll have to move on. But I'm not liking our chances, frankly. What about you? Can I scan you? Because I can't eat you. For some reason. Ow. Is that you? Fighter. Yeah, it would have been you. Shithead. Fucking let's do this, bitch! You and me. 1v1 me, fish. Asshole. Fuckhead. Can't eat them. Can't do anything with them. At least it's dead, I guess. Lead. Inventory full as well. Oh well. Guess we'll go back to the ship, see what we can actually make with what we've got. I don't feel like we can make much progress without finding cave sulfur, or maybe some of the, some more of the fragments. Which I found boatloads of before, but now that we're down there, I just can't find any. Which is always the way, isn't it? And we're gonna need food and water again. Can I scan you? Uh oh. Am I too close to this? The reactor will reach a super critical state. Eighteen minus ten, nine, eight, seven, here we go. Six, five, four, three, two. Whoa, shit! Holy balls! That was fantastic. 
I don't think it beats the megaton explosion though. Pretty sure it doesn't beat the megaton explosion. The radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. Thanks. You're good to me. You're really good to me. We need fiber mesh for that. Alright, we're gonna make some water, we're gonna make some food. I feel like this episode hasn't gone as well as the first one did. The first one went super well. We got like really advanced really fast. Yeah, we need to find more fragments to do anything now. Oh, let's have an eat. Um. Oh wow, that filled us right up. Whatever that was, it's pretty good for the old, uh, insides. God damn, we're full of bullshit. We make another one of those, uh, flotation dealies, deployables. We're out of titanium, because all our titaniums are outside in the other deployable. <laughs> Ironically. Over there. Just chuck whatever we can in it. We're still full of shit, but... This one's full of titanium, right? Titanium and salt deposits. Sure, whatever. Alright, I guess we need to make the radiation suit, yeah? That'll give us something to strive towards for now, because I think that's something we can actually do. Need lead and fiber mesh. Well, we've got the lead. I think I left it outside, but we've got some lead. Well, there's probably some in here. Yeah, there's heaps in here. Need fiber mesh, so that means creep vines, which are over here. That's easy, and we can eat those too. That should be heaps, I suppose. Alright, let's make this radiation suit. Does that mean we can go into the Aurora? Honestly don't know, but... If it does, that'd be cool. I'm getting the hang of this crafting. The crafting in this game is actually real easy. Real easy, it's nice. Nice and simple. That's right, we need some lead as well, so let's grab some lead. I think we needed two. Alright, we have a radiation suit, so that's good. Is that automatically equipped, I assume? Ah, uh, we got the radiation helmet, which we can't use because we got the rebreather on. Do I have to use it? Like, can I go over to the Aurora without it? I'm curious, let's go find out. Where's the Aurora? We're gonna head to the Aurora. See if we can survive the radiation without wearing this, the helmet. Or if we can survive it either way. Honestly, I don't know. I remember checking out those fragments. If we keep exploring, eventually we'll find this fucking sulfur we're looking for. As well as other things, I'm sure. Fragments as well. That's the other big deal. See the Aurora. Pretty close. We're not dying as of yet, so that's good. Oh, hang on. A potential thing to scan. Ah, Sea Glide Fragment. Oh, we can make the Sea Glide now? Well, we better do that. We better do that. We 
should be able to zip around nice and quickly with that. Where's the aurora? Right there. Radiation detected? It's a fragment. For the cyclops? Okay, that's killing us. Let's put the helmet on. Okay, now it's not killing us, so that's good. Can we scan this thing? Fuck, it's huge! How do we get inside it? Can we get inside it? In this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. How the fuck can we possibly contain the radiation from this thing? Look at it! What was that? What is th what's shaking? The whole screen was shaking, I don't know what was causing that. Holy fuck, we're shaking again. Is it just the ship shaking? So now that it's crashed, I don't see why it would be fucking shaking. Let's scan ourselves again. Take a scan selfie. Self scan complete. Foreign bacteria count has reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be if there is a way into that, I've got no fucking idea how. Jeez, are those two attacking each other? Fuck that. Can we get on land? Huh? Hey, we're on land. Jeez, we're not very agile on land. We're much better in the water than we are on land. Hey, we can sprint though. That's cool. It makes a weird sound considering we're running on fucking uh, sand. Sand doesn't usually sound like clunk, 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 clunk. Oh well, I'll suspend my disbelief for now. We look silly when we're running too. Look at our shadow. We look ridiculous. We're ridiculous. Okay, why did that hurt? Jumped in the goddamn water. Okay, well, from what I can tell, there is no way onto this ship, at least at this stage. Health is getting quite low though, I must admit, and I'm not too sure what's hurting us. And this is just all the damage I've been doing to myself over this time. Thought it looked different, it's just night time, that's all. Well, I went all the way around the ship, but it didn't seem... Can I scan that? That'd be cool. I went all the way around the ship, but I didn't see a way, you know, a way in. Is that a way in? Because if that's a way in, I'll be like... I can't believe I just went all the way around the ship. <laughs> when the way in was right there. The breach, that's for damn sure. Is it? That does look like the way in. Now I'm quite hurt and I'm not too sure if I want to go in there. There shouldn't be anything too dangerous in here, right? Because everything should be dead on it, pretty much. After all, I died in a catastrophic nuclear meltdown. The ship, I mean. I 
don't really see where I can go from here, though. Maybe it's just ornamental. Maybe there's nowhere I can actually get in. Can't see any promising entry points. At all. And again, maybe I haven't gone all the way around it properly yet. I suppose that could be a promising entry point, but at the same time, it's that's too dangerous for my liking. Going all the way down there. I don't know, man. I don't know. We're sort of heading back towards our pod anyway. I guess we could do that. We need to make the sea glide anyway. So that would make exploring shit like this a lot safer. What is that? I don't have cutters or any. What is that? Cave crawler. Ah! Are you angry at me? I'll fuck you up, man. Ow. Uh, I suppose we might as well go then if we're going to need... That looks like it needs a repair tool or something as well. Right there. At least it looks like we have an entry point now. So we can come and explore it once we get our gear together. But obviously we don't have our gear together as of yet. Fuck, our inventory's full as again. Let's, uh, we eat this. That wasn't eat it, that was drop it. Come here! Uh, it's too fast! It falls faster than I can follow it. There's an uncooked one, that must be intimidating for him. He's like, ah, my friend, he got cooked. Now my inventory's full. Let us eat you. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Alright, I want to get out of here. We're not going to survive a bite from one of those things. Not right now. Not with our health as low as it is right now. It's a shame that doesn't get our health back. Oh, okay, we need water as well. This is why survival games fuck me off. Are we worried about food and water all the goddamn time? What's this? Oh, it's scrap metal. So I can just eat these raw. Gross. They make me thirsty as well. I suppose I don't need to carry this scrap metal realistically. Let's just drop that to make some room. We need to grab some bladder fish if we see some. We can get some water, because as far as I can tell, that is the only source of water we've got. As far as options for uh, recovering our water go, that's about all we have. From what I can tell at this stage, anyway. Propulsion cannon. Well, that sounds pretty cool. No, no, no. Alright, how do we make the sea glide? Battery, lubricant, copper wire, titanium. We're going to work on that in the next episode. So we're going to wrap this one up here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you in the next one.